6th, which means it is opening day of lobster season. I'm on the boat with almost all my family, except for my older brother couldn't get off work today. But me and Fisher both work for our dad, and my dad's here, so it was easy for us to get off work. Victor and I weren't here for mini season, but my family absolutely slayed. They got their limit in under an hour. So hopefully we have that luck today. I will see you guys underwater. caught out of one rock and we probably let go at least five shorts look at this thing <laughs> it's huge when i put the net on it it didn't even do anything that's how big this thing is i'm pretty sure i grabbed the net out of your hand dad and i was like oh no there's a big one i need the net this thing is giant isn't he cool yeah even wow. even his his tail is different wow cool he's got purple legs yep his tail has different markings than the rest. Yeah, he's put him next speckled. to him. He's speckled. Put him next to a, a regular one so you can see the difference. Cool. 
with purple legs. He's awesome. Yeah. Eight. No, he's good. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, So we ended up catching 30 lobsters, which was our legal limit. We caught a bunch of shorts that we had to let go, but we did get our limit, which was awesome. And I'm pretty sure we caught them within two hours. So that's really good. And it was kind of choppy. It was like two to three. And then the water was definitely murky. It was hard to see them. You had to check under every rock. You couldn't see any from the surface, which sometimes you can see them from the surface. You see their antenna sticking out of rocks, which is the best case scenario, but it was way too murky to see that. So you had to keep diving down and searching under rocks but we did a really good job, so I'm gonna show you how to clean them up now. All right, so this is like a normal sized lobster, and then check out this guy. This is a nice big one. His legs are super, super long. He's gonna be delicious. Oh, and then also, this is how you tell the difference between a male and a female. This here is a male. This is a female. You see these little tiny, whoops. All right, so these little extra set of, I think they're called feathers under here. You see how this has just these four, and this has four, and then an extra set underneath. This is what holds the eggs in when they have eggs. They hold the eggs under their body, under their tail, with these extra little things. And if it did have eggs, it would have a giant orange clump on the tail, which we didn't end up finding any females with eggs today. But you're allowed to take females as long as they don't have eggs on their tails. All right, so this is how you clean them. You're gonna take one hand on the head, one hand on the tail. Definitely wanna wear gloves because they got a bunch of spines on them. And you're just gonna wring it, turn it, just like that. You're gonna break off the tip of the antenna here and then you're gonna stick it into their digestive tract here and it's gonna pull. They have backwards facing spines on their antenna that grabs that digestive tract to pull it right out and that's all you have to do to clean this and now it's ready to eat, nice and simple. Now this is a lobster that just molted and you can see that it's very, very squishy. It hasn't been able to grow its hard skeleton back and so these guys, they're very vulnerable to predators because anything can eat this thing right now because it's super soft. You see how it can just squish it? And normally they're very hard. And any fish would just love to suck this thing down. Normally these horns are super hard, but you can just bend them, very, very soft. All right, so I'm gonna clean up the rest of the lobsters and I'll meet you guys back in the kitchen for a catch and cook. So now for my grilled lobsters, I'm going to cut them down the belly side. Get you a nice heavy duty sharp knife. Turn them over, crack the back side. And there we go. Now this gives you an opportunity, if there was any sand or anything left in there, you could just rinse it out. And that baby is ready for the grill. 
So on the grill, you can put the butter inside there so it all soaks in while it's cooking. For the lobster mac and cheese, I'm going to start by boiling the lobster tails for just a couple minutes till the shell turns orange and the meat becomes white. These babies are nice and cooked, so I'm gonna take them out. Put them in the sink and just let them cool because I won't be able to touch them for a while. Once the lobsters are cool enough to touch, I cut and peel them out of the shells. I removed some of the orange skin on some of the lobsters based on how tough it is. Lobsters molt like I was explaining earlier and sometimes their skin is thicker than others depending on their molting stage. As you can see, the skin is thick and rubbery. I don't stress to remove it all, just the tough parts on some. Then I slice up the lobster into bite-sized pieces. Now to start the homemade cheese sauce, I melted four tablespoons of butter and slowly added flour to create a roux, which is the thickening agent for our sauce. I also added my pasta to some boiling water. Once the flour browned and you couldn't smell that raw flour smell anymore, I slowly added two cups of warm half and half that I had heating up on another burner. Once the roux and milk are mixed well, I added cheddar cheese. Now you can add various other cheeses, but I only had cheddar, so that's all I used. Once the cheese is mixed throughout, I added my cooked pasta shells. I then mixed in my cooked lobster pieces. I poured this into a clear baking dish and then mixed together my breadcrumb topping. For the topping, I mixed three quarters of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs with two tablespoons of melted butter. I spread this over the mac and cheese and finished it off with some sprinkled paprika over the top. I put this into the oven that I had set at 375 degrees and set the timer for 15 minutes. I then heated up some minced garlic and butter that I will use to put on the lobsters on the grill. Alright, now lobsters do not take a long time to cook. I'm putting a little bit of this buttered garlic on there when I have them face down. I'm going to let them cook for a little bit and then flip them over and let them cook the rest of the way on their back side. So now I'm flipping these, I just let them cook on that first side for only like a minute and a half. Got them a little brown. And I did put some olive oil on the grill with a paper towel before I started so that these babies would flip nice and easy and not get stuck to the grates. More of this butter and garlic. Putting it inside there. And now they're gonna cook from the bottom up. Sprinkle in some pepper. Some paprika. And a little bit of cilantro in there. All right, taking these babies off. Baby, does that look good? So, Vic, what'd you think? 
Well, it was the first day of lobster season. It's the first time I've eaten lobster in a long time. It was really good, Brooke. I really like the grilled lobster. If you guys have never had a grilled lobster before, it gets a really good taste on the grill from the marks and the heat and everything. Lobster mac and cheese, killer way to spice up your lobster dish. All in all, really good. Dad? I've eaten a lot of lobster, uh, but I've never had lobster mac and cheese. And uh, I enjoyed it. The lobster mac and cheese was nice. And like Victor said, uh, the grilled lobster was good. And I got him to um, melt a little butter for me. So I got to dip my lobster in butter. It was a nice ending to the first day of lobster season. I mean, in a restaurant, it would have been a super expensive meal. So we always eat like kings. Um, lobster mac and cheese is one of my favorite seafood dishes to order when they have it on a menu. So it was just done spectacularly. So just another fantastic meal. Thank you. Mom? I've never had it either and it was really good. Um, I loved it on the grill. I'm so glad when you cook for me. Oops. <laughs> um, I can't wait till the next time. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I've never made lobster mac and cheese and I think it turned out really good. I will definitely do that again. It's really easy to do. Honestly, you could probably take a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, cook some lobster and toss it in there too. But I like that I made it homemade, so that was really good. I'll probably definitely do that again. It was an easy recipe. Grilled lobster is always a hit. Very easy to do too. It was a great first day of lobster season. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And one more thing. <laughs> Everyone's shirts that we were wearing today are Victor's new land shark fishing shirts, which I will link down in the description. They're going to be available when Vic August 15th, they will be available. So you guys check them out. They're really cool, they're performance shirts, but check them out. Well, I've never made mac and cheese before. Eh, I've made mac and cheese before. It was a great. So 